Hey, hi friends. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss one of the important concepts that is copy and write and shift. Now before going into what is copy and write, I think many of you have might in content uh, this question in your interview that if struct is value type and class as a reference type and we knowing this fact that why we prefer using struct for a larger as data sets like so that if I have to store a large amount of data in an array while prefer struct not having classes because when I will copying the struct I will be actually making a duplicate copy multiple times and that will increase your memory burden so in that case if you see the class is more uh, preferable because in that case of class it will be pointing to the same memory address then why we prefer struct so if that is a scenario then why we prefer struct and there the answer lies in copy and write okay so let's go now into the copy and write concept so copy and write is there in the shift to avoid this problem of access memory burden so let's say that if i have an array of data and when you just you know, create a copy of that array of data so instead of creating the complete copy into a, a new memory location what does Swift does initially that it first point to the same memory address just like how a normal class object behave until unless you try to modify that object if you modify that object then again the, the Swift will create a new memory address for it and that we'll see through a, a example so here if you see in this particular code I have written a function which prints the address of the object and then I have taken a struct I'm creating an object assigning it to the another object and then I'm just printing the address of two so let's run this and see what output does it print so if you see both the address are different that means a1 is having a different address lo location and a2 is having a different address location so yeah that's what I was talking about that this copy on write by default is only present when you create a array of data not it's not there for every struct that what, what you create okay now let's do the same thing but this time what i'm going to do i'm going to create a array of uh, value instead of creating just a normal object so i'm just converting this to array okay now let's run the same case and this time when you run it you see that both the object is having the same memory address so that's what the copy and write is doing here so I have an array called a1 and then I'm assigning this a1 to a2 but till now I have not modified a2 correct so until unless the a2 is not modified it is going to share the same address now what you do I'm adding one more value to a2 so I'm just adding let's say another value like this okay now after this I'm again going to print both the addresses so just to give a boundary I'll just print like this now once you modify this then what will happen then the Swift is going to create a new memory address location for it okay sorry now let's run it and see the value so if you see for the first time when you run it both were the, having the same memory address 3 30 3 30 but after that what i'm doing i'm modifying my a2 so now if you see the a2 address has changed and then a1 is still same because a1 we are not doing anything okay so even if you do if, even if you append something to a1 a1 address is not going to change because a1 was created first and it was having a unique address correct but a2 got changed so here this copy on write how this mechanism works and that's the reason that even for the larger data set structs will work pretty well if, if you are having multiple copies or duplicate copy until unless you are not modifying it now swift also gives you the option to implement your this copy on write on your custom objects as well let's say that if i wish that the cop if my this app developer is a big struct object and it is holding a large data set and i want that this copy and write should work here also perfectly so that also we can do but for that we have to implement it in our own and uh, apple has given a perfect example on the github website i'm just going to show you 
so here is what we have this advice use copy and write semantics for large value and here is the implementation for the same that how we can implement this copy and write for our own data type so i'm just going to copy and paste it in our example and then i'll show you that how for the same example i can implement this copy and write okay so i have just copied and pasted on uh, that code so here if you see i have a class with ref and then i have a struct box which is holding an object of reference and here if you see we have a computer properties which have getter and setter so getter is just returning you the value so here we have a setter so what the setter is doing if you see there is a condition that if it is holding a strong reference or the value is not unique then only in that case it is returning you a new reference otherwise it is just return, returning you the old reference the the same way how the copy and write is doing for you so if the value is not modified then it is returning you the same memory address in this case and if the value is modified that is creating a new address okay so now i'll just create this app developer with taking the box okay so what i'm going to do let's delete this and here box and then i'm going to pass my object here okay as simple as it is now everything remains same now let's run it again okay so right now if you print it let's say if the address got changed or not so here if you see we are seeing different address because we are not printing the right one because we have to print the reference that is holding so we have to print it like this and this time when you see the output both are going to print you the same memory address as you can see now let's try to now modify the value so now what i'm going to do i'm going to change my a2 dot value dot video uploads monthly equals to 10 okay and this time let's see what is the output so i'm just going to do this after this and then having a print and now if you see again the next address has not got changed so this is how you can implement even if your own uh, copy and write for your custom object if you are dealing with large data sets but remember one point that this copy and write by default is present only for the collections not for all the struct that we are creating and that is how the swift is properly managing the memory address in the case of a struct so that's all for today's video hope you really like this video and if you do like this video don't please don't forget to like comment and subscribe the channel thank you